Yo, welcome back. Lionel Seawood here. I'm here to answer a couple of questions about Bungie. I figure it'd be much easier to make a video versus trying to put it all in the comments. Maybe I'll explain it a lot easier. Sorry, I got some bad lighting over here. I don't feel like, I am, I'm not gonna lie. I got a lot of stuff to do today. Today's Sunday, by the way, the 15th. May 15th, 2022, 2.16 p.m. I got other stuff I got to do today. So I just hurry up, set up like a, a floodlight with an umbrella. It's good to go. You're not here for the lighting. You're just here for the questions. Sorry if I got stuff stuck in my teeth. I mean, peanuts. All right. So we got a question here. Sorry, and I'm reading off my iPad. It's over here. So do you know how many miles in pay and apartment or house up front? Okay. You don't always know if it's a house or apartment. The only way, if they put, don't put it in the comments, say apartment, whatever, or you just can't tell about it, maybe the address. Only other way I can tell is if you hurry up and look up the address on Google Maps or something, or Apple Maps or whatever maps you use, and get a visual of what the, the place look like. That's how you can tell if it's an apartment or a house. But remember, sometimes you don't always have time for that because by the time you click on it and try to search for the address, that may be already gone. So sometimes you gotta take it, sometimes not. All right, you know how many miles? It tells you the miles from the pickup where you're picking it up to the drop off. Then you gotta figure out how many miles it is from wherever your location is to the pickup. That could be anywhere from two miles or right across the street to 30 miles. That's gonna be up to you. You, you gotta kinda know your city for that. And the pay, yeah, the pay tells you, now usually the smallest pay I've ever done was $28.99. That's usually for something simple, something small, something quick. I think it goes by time. I'm not still not 100% sure how all that works, but it goes by, I'm just saying, the smallest I've been paid is $28.99 for something real quick. But I know for one, if I see something for $28.99 and it's 20 miles away, nah, I'm not going for that. Unless I got multiple jobs, let's say it's a scheduled job, let's say something for 4 p.m. and I already got two jobs lined up before I get to that 4 p.m. or jobs lined up after that, then I'll drive that 20 miles. Oh, and if, if they're in that area, going that way in that area, then I would. If it's just some random job, it's 20 miles away, and that's the only job I got for today, bro, you, you're wasting money. You're wasting your time. I wouldn't do it. I would suggest you not to do it, but, hey, two different people. All right, I answered that question. How can the pickup be to apply with Bungie? I believe on their website, which they do have all this listed on their website, by the way, I believe it has to be a 2007 vehicle truck SUV with the trailer I've seen a Jeep with the trailer a cargo van with the trailer it just had to be something around that age and either with the trailer or not now I worked with a few people already that has sorry somebody's washing their clothes and is draining out over here into the garage I worked with a few people that have okay I worked with one person as a cargo van and a large enclosed trailer. I think that's like the ultimate setup, the enclosed trailer part, because you don't have to lift anybody's crap into your pickup. In the enclosed trailer, you're out of all inclement weather versus, you know, prior to bringing it outside the house, putting it into the trailer. Other than that, it's all enclosed. You can store it better, pack it better. It's like a cargo truck or a cargo box truck. It's just easier, you, it just, you walk up the ramp. 
instead of trying to pick it up. Cause man, I tell you, I've done a washer and dryer, I think twice now, once by myself and once with a dual. I'm telling you, it's a pain in the ass trying to lift a washer and dryer up into the back of a truck. It's much easier to just dolly it up a ramp. So that's the way to go. All right, somebody said it was cool watching the people at Costco on time-lapse. I know who that person is. Yeah, thank you. I try to film when I can, try to do random stuff. I have fun doing it when I have time to do it. All right, my man, D-A-K. I talked to him before online, because I guess he lives in my same area. I don't know what part of the metro, but I guess same area. And he was asking me questions before about signing up and this and that. I still haven't worked with him. There's a lot of people I'm still running into that I haven't worked with before. But um, I hope you're doing good, man. I hope you're sticking strong, sticking with it, and everything, by the way. Also, I've already got over 50 moves. Deliveries, moves, or whatever you want, whatever, whatever you want to call it. On your 50th move, Bungie, which I haven't received it yet, Bungie will send you out, I guess, a sticker. One other guy showed me this when he done his 50th. They send you out a sticker, like an advertising sticker that you can put on your truck that says Bungie. So it's up to you if you want to put it on your vehicle to represent Bungie or not. So just more advertising for them. Somebody said, how much do you get paid per delivery? Well, that's just random. It's all over the place from $28.99 for a delivery. So far, that's the smallest I've had up to, I mean, I've seen the numbers go pretty high. Also, I think the biggest one I've had was $65. I can't remember what it was. I've done so many now. I don't remember every one. And I don't even get a chance to film every one because I'm just so busy. Um, every once in a while, if things get too busy, Bungie will send out a text saying, if you take three deliveries, we'll give you a $75 um, credit or it will give you an extra $75 on top of the three deliveries that you take. So you take the three moves, let's say if they're basically $30 each, so that's 90 bucks, plus you get extra $75 if you take those three. So I've even seen them say $100 if you take four moves in one day. So I haven't done none of those because I usually don't have that much time to do that. It seems like that's usually during the week and I'm at my main job during the week. Somebody asked, looks like you're driving a Tundra. How's it doing bungee with gas prices? Honestly, <sighs> gas is gonna be high. I already knew getting a truck was gonna be a problem anyways. I've had a Tundra before. Gas sucked in. Gas is worse now. Just something you just adjust and live with. I love my truck, love my Tundra. Only truck I've ever had was Tundra. Now it's my second Tundra. Gas, like I said, gas is high, gas suck, but man, you see so many trucks and SUVs on the road, people are still driving them. So I don't know what it's gonna take before gas get too high where people actually stop driving them, maybe $10 a gallon, I don't I don't know. Eventually there's gonna be a point where people will have to stop. I mean, people will not be able to afford to drive no more, gas will be so high. Or they'll just cut down on other things. All right, well, I guess that's that. That's all the questions that I can see that I haven't, well, that I've answered, but to go into a little bit more detail. If you got any more questions, just go ahead and write them up, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them when I can, try to make a video when I can and get to it like that. Sometimes it's just easier to put a video out, explain the question versus trying to type it because I'm not good with words. So I'm not gonna lie about that anyway. Uh, if you watch this video, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.